Hello everyone, it's Wednesday. I have a few things to show you. I lost count, I think it's four. Okay, so I made a sale. So I sold these three Jirachi uh, GX promos, my five Expert Belt promos, and these two packs of old uh, play promos. Uh, these are uh, cards from Triumphant. It's two black belts inside each, and then there's two junk arms inside of each. The junk arms are actually worth quite a bit of money. Uh, but this actually, this buyer is uh, over in the UK, so it's actually forced me to learn how to ship international. Uh, all right, so that's the first thing, is a sale. The second thing, I'm doing a PSA submission. So let me do, uh, all right, so these ones, these are cards that I have a, a PSA uh, card for already. So I got a, a Shiny Voltorb from Stormfront, Shiny Yanma from Supreme Victors, a Shiny Lotad from Platinum, Arceus, uh, this one's AR6, a Wash Rotom RT5, from this one's from Rising Rivals, Machamp Level X from Stormfront, that's not actually writing on the card, and a Luxray GL level X. These two aren't in the, um, they're not in like supremely great condition. They're in okay condition. I'm thinking probably PSA six, I'm hoping. Um, but I can't guarantee. Uh, these ones are in better condition. I expect these to get eight at least. So I'm sending uh, these ones in to be graded because I've already got uh, a PSA version of them. I, uh, the PSA versions I have of all of these are PSA 9s, actually. I want 10s, but I went ahead and I got the 9s because they were available and I had the opportunity to get them for a decent price. And so my goal is to, sell, uh, to grade these and then to sell them, hopefully for a better price. And then I'm also sending in these. So these three cards are cards that I do not really intend to keep in my collection. I would like to keep one of the Special Delivery Pikachus just because I think it's kind of great and I think that this card has a lot of long-term prospects. So I would like to keep on to it and I do like it. This card's pretty historic because it's one of the very first exclusive promos that we've gotten in North America. You only got this if you uh, pre-order, if you order $20 worth of stuff from the Pokemon Center, and they're out of print. So one of these has a pretty good shot at being a 10. Um, it's this one. This one looks really good. It's super well centered. No blemishes, no scratches, nothing. This one has a chance. Um, it depends. And so part of this is me sending it in hoping to get a 10, but I'm expecting a 9, to be honest. And then this is the Charizard V that I just opened in my Champion's Path uh, ETB that I got lucky and said, wow, I can't believe that this one's a contender for a 10. That would be the only Charizard V I've opened from Champion's Path. So that would be great okay so that's the psa submission i'm doing those are going off to graded gem great service run by zng emporium also on youtube so i got one package today or i'm sorry two packages today one is from cape fear games uh they're on tcg player um and this should be more sword and shield uh cards that i need for my set so I gotta be careful because there is a there is an invoice in here. So give me a second while I extract that. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. So there is that. Hopefully that didn't show. If not, I'll cut it out. Okay. So here is the package. All right. So. What we got, and I just saw the front of this. I think it's great. <laughs> this is this is this. I'm happy to see, and I, th I'm going to be doing something similar here very shortly. All right, so we got our top loader, and he put in this great little token. This is awesome. I don't know if any of you play Magic or know about Magic, but tokens are like they're like cards that represent like other creatures you can make for free. This is just a great little throw-in, and it's awesome. 
because my only problem with it is that it doesn't have like a full business card type of deal but this is still great i love this it's a great motif i mean it's it's fantastic i love it and he, he even says here buy direct from us from our website and save five percent so that's awesome i love that it's great marketing great business idea okay so what i got was these two cards <laughs> i only got two cards from him so the reverse hollow potion from uh, hyper potion from champions path and the hollow clefable from rebel clash that i need um so those are the two cards i need uh from those two sets um i do have packages that are much larger that are coming i just had to get a few cards in order to fill it in all right so now this guy right here so i don't know if any of you recognize dhl packages but that's a dhl package and DHL packages are special because that usually means foreign stuff. So, this is a package I got from Japan. There's one of two things it could be, and either one is going to be exciting. One of them is something I do plan to open. Uh, the other one is something I'm gonna keep sealed because I just love the art. All right, so, there we go. So we got a nice little thank you. This is com something like this has come with every purchase I've made from Japan. I think that I think that's great. I love to see that type of stuff. Okay, I think this is it. All right. So what is it? What is it? What is it? Let's find out. All right. So do. Try not to hurt myself. Okay, let's see, ah, okay, so this is the Marnie Trainer Collection, and it does not fit, so that is what we got, the Marnie Trainer Collection box from Japan, they only made these for the Japanese market, which makes me sad, but as you can see, that card it's signed. <laughs> now that signature actually is not the artist. It is uh, Marnie's. It's supposed to be Marnie's signature herself. But this is this is something that I saw. <clears throat> I saw, and I had to have it. I mean, it's just it's too it's too cute. All right, so let's see. I and I bought two because one is gonna stay sealed, <laughs> and the other one is gonna get open. Now, the determination as to which one is going to be opened is going to be based on which card looks the most centered. <laughs> um, so I can see that one on one oh, Okay, cool. I can slide it kind of down a little bit. So we can see if you can't see. All right. So if we do that a little bit. Uh, Much better. All right, so I'm trying to get that to slide down just a little bit so that we can see the side there. And it looks pretty good, and I just damaged the box. So I think we gotta open this one. All right, so let's open this one. I, I really hope that uh, that card is really well centered because I really want to get one of these graded. I want a PSA 10 of this card, specifically just for my own collecting. <laughs> like, I don't want it for any other reason. I just want to own a PSA 10 of that card. All right, so we have here the binder itself, which is, I mean, I mean, the art is fantastic. The art of this binder is great. Sorry, I'm adjusting mid thing here. I did not know how to how to do this, but I mean that's just that's so cute <laughs> with her doing the pinch the cheek pinch with more pico, and it's just a kind of a regular old folio. I'm not a super big fan of the binding, 
just because it's it's kind of like it's kind of like a standard book bind. It might look good on a shelf. I did pro, that would look better on a shelf than your standard uh, kind of ridge ridge bound binder. So I guess that's good. Looking for oh here it is. Looking for how to open this. Thing. Take a look at it. So what kind of pages are these? I've never seen pages like this. They've got like this weird little fold up here. So am I, oh, it's like a flap? Okay, so it's got like a, a, a kind of like a flap here that you, that you put, so you put the cards in and the flap goes over the top. Let's see how that looks with this here. Not a super big fan of that. If you're gonna use this binder for like collecting, you should definitely double sleeve. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. That's okay, but I mean, it'll still look good. I, I think I will use it for collecting some, for us, for my Marnie collection, oddly enough, you know, if I, if I do a, a non-PSA version. All right, so there's that. And then we got the star of the show here. Uh, is there a way for me to get this out that isn't that doesn't involve using this weird oh uh, sorry hang on let me get my scissors so let me cut this off here okay so, I think the best way here is going to be to try to do this in an effort to try and cut it out. So it should be, there we go. Okay, much better. Yeah, I did not want to like push it out through the tabs. Okay, so we can actually... Now, I'm not too familiar with the centering on Japanese cards. Because I don't own many. But I would say that that looks okay. Mm, maybe, maybe not. It's, it's hard with this fade that they do. It could be, maybe. I don't know, I'd have to, I don't think there's any way to look at the other one. There's not really. Oh wait, yes there is, okay. Oh, I think we can just see in there a little bit. They look the same, to be honest. I was hoping that I could get my hands on a couple of copies, but <laughs> like they're, they're, they're just now sold out and they're starting to push like $100 and I don't want to. And it also comes with some booster packs. So we got an Amazing Volt Tackle. We got a, um, what is that one? Legendary Heartbeat. I think this one's like Strike Into the Darkness or something like that. And then this one I think is um, the Rebel Clash equivalent. I forget its exact name. Um, part of me is like, oh, well, maybe we can open this one. At least we're guaranteed a hollow, right? But I'm just, just not a super big fan of opening loose packs like this that I don't know what's in them. I don't want anything in them. I'm just kind of opening them to open them. But what else am I gonna do with them, right? So hey, maybe we'll get maybe we'll get something good. I can recoup some of my costs, right? So oh, well, these packs are. Oh wait, don't they have the tear strip? Ah, oh, yes, they do. Yes, these packs are so much easier to open than the US equivalents. Oh, and I, this this wrapper it's thick. It is a thick wrapper. All right, so we got something in there. All right, we got a uh, Copperaja. Too bad. Alright, let's 
so oh wait why'd i put the cute fan there <laughs> You know, the other interesting thing, I'm actually not sure if they get a, um, if they get a, uh, Reverse Hollow equivalent like we do. Because all of our packs contain a Reverse Hollow, but I don't think all of theirs do. And then we got a, uh, Corbin Knight. Okay, let's see if we can get one cool card. I would like a, I would like one full art. Come on. As you can tell, I am a professional booster pack opener. Alright, let's see here. Machamp. That's the one actually we got in our, um, that one came in our, uh, Champion's Path set. Alright, and now for Legendary Heartbeat, let's see if we got lucky. Alright, let's see. No, got a Dialga though. I'm happy with Dialga. comes with seven so yep so that's all for today honestly i'm i'm just really happy to have this card in particular i love the picture i love the art i love <laughs> i love that it's signed it's just it's so nice and it's one of those it's this is one of those cards that if you don't have the japanese version you're going to be waiting forever for the american version because we just don't get them so but that's all for today thanks Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know by giving this one a like. If you would like to see more of my collecting journey, be sure to subscribe. May your trades be favorable and your boosters be bountiful.